Coming up on the Internet Buffet. Google redesigns your site. The FCC grants special permissions to the cable and satellite company. And Internet Explorer drops below 60%. All this and more on the Internet Buffet. All right, we made it. We're in the holodeck. We did. We got. Right. We better get this started. Yes, we got to get the podcast started. All right, computer, initiate program, internet buffet. Welcome to episode number ten of the internet buffet. I'm Dustin Dombrowski, and I'm Brian Diamani. Uh, the internet buffet covers uh, most popular stories uh, on the internet. Um, and, uh, for that, let's dive in to our first story of the week. Um, and that is, uh, Google site redesign. Yes. Yep. Google has finally, uh, uh, rolled out their, uh, site redesign and, uh, it's super high tech and all <laughs> awesome with, with crazy dragons and unicorns and it's not technically like that no uh, it's, it's not like that at all it's, it's a lot polished um, minimally different than what it already was yeah they it's a new it's a new uh design um they put uh, i believe what is it on the uh right side or the left side on of the, the left side. yeah left left side of the page you have um all There's of some, your controls some for, links yeah all your links on there um it's it's much more polished um, it's just a better, um, they call it a, what, a minimalistic look to it. You could a say A minimalistic that. feel to it. Since it looks like the same it did in 1999 <laughs> if they were around. Yeah, it does. It's like an HTML1 web page. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's got some neat little interactive mm -hmm. links on the side. Yep. And, uh. Way to go, Google. I, I noticed that, uh, it's a lot faster searching. Uh, if you I, I haven't, I haven't searched much. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, if I search, I, it comes up. And like the nanoseconds it takes for me to find a website in the first place, yeah, it's already. I'm going to the first Wikipedia link that mm -hmm. pops up anyway. So yeah, but it, it looks good. It really uh, does look good. And uh, Google says that they're not done with uh, their site redesigns. They're I'm, still they're still tweaking all their stuff. I'm waiting for them to come with like like something other than a white background. They're not going to do like that. Maybe like teal or something yeah. for a day. <laughs> well, you know, that's, something that's, crazy. That's all. I wish something actually crazy. actually I wish Google or like a gradient. Ooh, that'd be nice. Gradient. I wish Google actually did black. Had the option for doing white or black. Well, you can. Well, you, you can. Like you those can. themes. Yeah. Well, you can do a, uh, you have a, an grease, Google account. a grease monkey script. Um, grease that, monkey script. Yeah, that will actually do a whole entire black background uh, for the actual search and for the actual Google page. Gotcha. So, um, but yeah, it's a fresh uh, new look to, um, to to Google, and I hope they uh, do do better. <laughs> I hope they start knowing what I want to search for before I go. Although they're getting close. Yeah, they are getting close. That would be kind of scary, though, if they actually do that. It's like you, you like think... All you do is type google.com, and it, your search pops up. You don't even have to go yeah. and type anything in. It's just there. Yeah. What if what if you can sit on your computer and you can think think about something? It's like the on-field lucky up. button. Yeah, it would be. You know? Be like, I want uh, Chinese food. And all of a sudden, Chinese food comes in the search box. Boom. Come up. Mm -hmm. That's what you're thinking. No, about. not even in the search box. It just... Google populates results. How about Google populates Chinese food? Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese food just comes up. Oh, that, that would work. What was that, Dust? No, I got to shut my phone. Dust, what was that? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, on the next story. That's supposed to happen in our 10th episode, no less. Yes. On the next story, and this is your, your story. Yes. Okay, so the FCC has granted permissions to cable and satellite service providers to basically block the outputs okay. of the set-top box All right. from releasing any content for, now hang with me here, I know it's a long run-on sentence, the Motion Picture Association of America wants you to have access to early release films, like, so Iron Man 2 comes out in theaters yesterday, two weeks from now, I want to watch this at my house, okay. right? So they want us to have access to that, Cable wants to give it to us. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, if you do that right now, the way technology is, I could just simply record it. Okay. I couldn't record it digitally. No. But I could record it analog. Yep. And I'd still have a copy of it. Mm -hmm. So to facilitate this, the FCC has said, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to let you, the cable companies, 
disable hardware outputs on your set top set top box. So if you're watching this content, mm -hmm. you can't watch it unless you have a TV or something hooked up to it that's uh, HD. HD, CP. Yeah, HDCP compliant. Compliant, which means basically that it only accepts HDMI or some other copy protected um, interface okay. to your TV. So, long story short, mm -hmm. if you have the ability to watch these videos or these films on the de on demand service that would be provided by cable, you'd have to have a TV that's compliant with that interface. So. HDMI would be the only one, but not all HDMI ports because the older HDMI ports aren't compliant. Okay. It's just the newer ones. All right. So people with older TVs would not be able to get this service um, is basically the crux of this argument. Um, but this would be the first time the cable companies have really had, or I should say cable and satellite companies have had this uh, ability to disable you know, other interfaces accepting video. So right now you can use analog, which is just the mm -hmm. red, white, and yellow, or yep. you could use the component, mm -hmm. which is the red, green, and blue, white, and, white, and red. Okay. Two reds. Yep. And HDMI. I think those are the only ones you can use. Yep. Those are the uh, NS video. NS video. You can so use you can use video. any of those right now. But in order to watch this content, you would only be able to have HDMI. Okay. So... Uh, where this gets a little bit scary is, you know, what if they start doing this with other things? Like, okay, now you want to watch uh, any on-demand movie or any TV show, network TV show? Mm -hmm. Well, too bad unless you have this sort of technology. So you have the, a, a, a compliant TV. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody's going to have one. Nope. So that would be a big problem for people. Uh because then, then if I wanted to watch that content, I didn't have an H an HD TV that was compliant. I would have to go out and just buy buy another one mm -hmm. in order to use a service. In order to use the service that they want to uh, put out. I exactly. mean, who doesn't want to um, watch a movie um, a week or two after it come out in, after it comes out in the movie theater in their home? Yeah, that, that's that's a great idea. That's a good idea. But I mean, I don't think it would be any surprise that somehow the Motion Picture Association is going to block you from being able to record it. They're not just going to say, here you go, here's the mm -hmm. here's the movie, two weeks after it came out, and then, boom, you can just do what you've always been able to do and, re and record it analog. Okay. So, uh, I'm not surprised that they're doing this. I'm it's not just, surprised either. It's just, how far is the FCC going to go with this? Are they going to revoke that little stipulation in the law mm -hmm. about, you know, selective output control or are they going to like completely or are they just going to keep it limited to just early release films uh, for this on-demand service? Mm -hmm. Hopefully they only keep it with this if they even decide to do this service which yeah. isn't out yet. Yeah. So Which could be out in about two, two to uh, one to two years. I yeah, it could, I mean yeah. it could be even sooner than that. Yeah. I mean they have everything in place. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep, we'll keep an eye on this one. Yeah, and I just, I just hope that it doesn't go into the, uh, the cable companies having control over the content that we watch. I don't think TVs. they will because that would just it would just alienate too many of their core subscribers. Mm -hmm. And you can't force your subscribers to upgrade their TVs. They'll just simply unsubscribe. Yeah. So if cable's doing it and satellite's not, they'll just go to satellite. Mm -hmm. Unless it's just a complete everybody in the market switches. Yep. So you have no options. Yep. But I don't see that. I don't foresee that.